All right, so today I'm gonna to show you guys my covert entry and escape obstacle course. It's a great way to develop and maintain skills in a way that more closely simulates realistic scenarios. So if I want to mimic Deviant Olaf's Gringo Warrior scenarios, the first station is going to be a restraint station. The simplest restraint is duct tape. We can practice skills using improvised tools like basic handcuff shimming. Add further difficulty by cuffing from behind. We can add skills that use ready-made and concealable tools like this composite handcuff key. For added annoyance, be sure to drop the key. Also like Gringo Warrior, we can add a guard. You can use it to practice strengths while you're restrained. Depending on the scenario, the guard may have a handcuff key or other valuable things like an RFID badge. You might incorporate other concealable tools like this escape card or a conventional handcuff key. Once you reach your wallet, you can use a pre-punch tool of your choice, in this case a saw blade, rather than using a new card every time. You can also use Kevlar shoelaces to escape zip cuffs. It's simple to use a friction saw when you're cuffed from the front, but this method is more challenging when cuffed from behind. In the next station, I use a model door to practice bypassing door-specific hardware and alarm setups. It works well for loiting and bypassing residential privacy hardware. I also use a lock stand that can fit most door handles and deadbolts, but it also features eye hooks that can hold various types of padlocks. Both my model door and my lock stand rest on a filing cabinet to simulate common door handle heights. The filing cabinet can be accessed either by a wafer lock or a padlock, depending on the scenario. Inside are items that could be mission critical or could just add extra points. The last station involves a six foot tall PVC stand. The stand is modular and can fit a variety of items from electronic hardware to key vaults. Some scenarios may allow the player to pick a simple key box to access a key to a more difficult padlock, saving time. Likewise, bypassing this key vault can allow us to take a shortcut around a difficult to pick lock. The Wi-Fi enabled security camera can allow us to estimate field of view as well as practice blinding techniques and obfuscation strategies. So that's my obstacle course. If you guys have any ideas for how I can improve it, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.